All right, everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is a quick update on the Maxim SC2000. I figured I would show where I'm at, what I did last night, and uh, give a little bit more detail on what my future plans are. Uh, yesterday consisted of getting the transom, everything set in. Now, as you're going through this, uh, everyone, notice how right here, you see that air bubble? Now, I'm going to end up taking and I'll cut that off while I'll just take a grinder, basically grind it down and fold it back over. But this isn't uncommon. Even with using uh, the tools that they give you or that they suggest using, it's just simply not uncommon. You're going to get air bubbles in, in places on a boat. Doesn't matter what you do. There's no avoiding it. So as you're going through, don't sit here and get like freaked out because you got a couple air bubbles. Uh, you just cut them out and go back over. It's not a huge deal. Um, you can see right here. I've started in all the tabbing, all the way down here. Uh, this right here, right at the engine mount, what they wanted to do originally was this piece right here, down at the bottom here, it had a hole. This was an open and exposed area, and then water could get into here, and then it just it was allegedly just a drain down there. Problem is, is where they had the hole sitting back up here by the transom, it just, it was an open invitation for water to get behind the fiberglass. So we just simply eliminated that. Um, that's no longer, put a piece of wood here. And what this is, is when I put the floor across now, it'll come to right here. And then it'll get glass down in and then back around over the, um, um, the engine mount system here. But you can see it's tabbed in on that side. You can see where it's tabbed in on this side. Yeah, down here in the corners here, corners, and then it comes in for the drain. Any crack was filled, as you can see here. Um, everything, all the bulkheads now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but we're going to sure try. Yeah, you can see where I haven't trimmed down the fiberglass on this yet. That was left hanging up. You can see as how it's tabbed in all the way down. Creates that nice 90 degree and that's what you want. You want a 90 degree, like, you don't want it to, you don't want the fiberglass to go 90 degrees. You want it to where, when it comes out, it literally comes down and then it comes over like this at like a 45 and then back to the hole. So that one got done. This one right here got done. This one right here, you can see where it started folding over slightly because of where the top is. Not a big deal, I'll fix that. But this one got done. Today's goal is to uh, get the second layer wrapped around the top of the uh, stringers itself. So all the stringers, they all have fiberglass that come up to about midsection. The next thing is gonna be to wrap it. And once I get it wrapped with uh, the chop strand, the next step would be to put a 1708 Biax on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And once the biax is on it, I mean, that's pretty much, I'm going to call it done. Um, I use some pretty thick, uh, heavy resin absorbing uh, CSM. And the biax should pretty much be the end of it. Shouldn't be any more needed to it. But you can see where I've come down here. It's all, all com completely done at this point on the initial uh, stringers. So that's, that's where I'm currently at now. Uh, the transom, anything back here. This will be wrapped more than likely right around three, four layers. One, I want the structural strength for the engine. Um, that way when it sits on these mounts, we're good there. And two, you want all this, anything that can get water intrusion, you definitely want 100% waterproof. So the transom will get another probably three, about three layers on it. It's making it a total of four layers. This will get three, four layers on it. Um, the bulkhead, on this side here, we'll get three, four layers. This one will get just another section of a cloth that goes in it. This one will get a section of cloth. If you've noticed, this is where the gas tank sits right here, everyone. Show everybody here. So right here, this is where the gas tank sits. And I made it before it was water could run into the gas tank right down the whole side of the boat. We changed that. Now it's going to be, see I put that... Uh, PVC in there 
Now what it's gonna do is water will go from that bulkhead down to this bulkhead. And if the, you know, the pipe gets clogged, it's as simple as me just running a snake through it and cleaning the clog out. I didn't want water being back in here anymore because there's wood trim that goes here and here along the floor that's almost like a tank support. And they, it was just an open invitation for rot and decay as water come through here. So that's where I'm at now. Um, you have any questions you know feel free to ask if you like my channel please like subscribe you know it does uh it helps me out a lot and um anything else you want to know like, like i said in all my other videos if i can't get an answer i'll gladly get an answer for you from someone who's a lot more knowledgeable than me at this i'm basically just when i have questions that's who i go to but with that being said i hope everybody has a great day uh try and stay cool if you're in one of them heat dome areas. All right, bye.